You are listening to CFI. Hi, I'm CFI. Today I'm going to talk to you about the SN60 supercharger. The SN60 supercharger was put on automobiles from the mid-50s to, well, perhaps the early 70s. It is a ball drive unit. It runs very quietly and is pretty much efficient at high RPMs. One of the ways to keep this machine working properly is to change the oil on a yearly basis. To do that, you have, well, two basic methods. One is to suck the oil out through the filler tube, that's right here, or to take the unit off the car, invert the unit, and drain the oil through the filler tube. Either case will not remove all of the oil, and of course some of the contaminants in that oil will remain inside the case. The only sure way to get all of the contaminants out is to take the unit off, drain it using the gravity flow, then split the front of the case along the front here, pull the pulley unit out, and now you will expose the interior. Then you can rinse all of the inside and wipe clean with a very clean cloth. And by the way, this should be done in a super clean environment. Get all of the contaminants out of the inside, put it back together, reinstall it on the car, and put fresh oil in it. Today, I'm going to remove the oil by scavenging it. This unit only has a couple of hundred miles on it since it was last rebuilt and will not have any real amount of contamination. So I will scavenge it, I will refill it, run the car to rinse the interior, scavenge it a second time, then refill it with a final batch of fresh oil. Okay? Let's get to it. First thing we have to do is get a little heat into that supercharger, warm the oil up. The car has been sitting for actually several months. Get it warmed up so it'll flow easily, and uh, that will make uh, the whole job go a little bit quicker. Okay. We'll just start the car up here and let it idle for several minutes, and uh, we'll be back when it's all warmed up. Well, that ought about do it. Let's come up the temperature. Now we're going to get to the nuts and bolts of taking the oil out of the supercharger. The scavenge device I am using to remove the oil from the supercharger is set out here. A compressed air venturi creates a vacuum that is stored in a makeshift vacuum ballast. A hosed outlet directs the vacuum. In this case, the hose is inserted into the filler tube of the supercharger. When activated, the oil is simply sucked out. Everything is set up. You've seen the device. I moved it to the floor where it works a little bit better, draining downhill. It's already inserted into the supercharger. I'm ready to turn it on and remove the fluid. You can see the fluid coming up. This will take several minutes, two or three, to finish. So we'll cut and come back when it's all done. Ready to put in the first wash oil. Little funnel. Pour it in ever so slowly. It's a small hole. It will take a little while, a minute or two, to get this all installed. Have to fill it up for eight ounces. That's what this holds. That's it. It's all filled up. Now, we'll put the... Uh, Dipstick back in. A little cantankerous there. Take it out to check it, full at eight ounces. Now we're going to run the car. You should crank the engine a couple of times without starting it. Pull an ignition wire or a cutoff switch if you have one. Let it crank over and that will prime the pump inside the supercharger. You don't want this thing running at speed without the pump being primed. Just a little trick that could save you a lot of money. Okay, I'll take this off 
and uh, I'll be back when we're ready to put in, or actually to take out the next wash oil, that wash oil. I'm back, ready to do it all over again. Take out the dipstick. Take our hose, insert it into the pump, make sure it gets into the bottom. Turn on my scavenger, and there comes out the wash oil. Again, several minutes. All right, it's no longer drawing any oil out. We're ready to put in the fresh batch. Have it over here, pour it into my container and we're going to put in our fresh batch of ATF. Now this is type F. This one my manufacturer tells me type F. Some have said type A. The instructions are if you have type A use type A. If you use type F always use type F. Again this is going to take a couple of minutes to get this in here. There go the last drops. In goes the dipstick. Pull it out to check. Right on spot. And that concludes the change of oil. That does it. Oil's changed for the year. Taking care of your equipment is absolutely important, whether you're on the ground or in the air. You need that performance and you need to be able to count on it. This is CFI. Keep on flying.